The following tutorial is part of a full-length course on setting up a WordPress site with the customizer theme. If you're interested in setting up a beautiful, mobile responsive site with a slider, social media sharing, video embedding, an email sign-up form, and much, much more, sign up for my free course below. Hit the link below to register for the course at danielboudreaulive.com. Now let's get to the tutorial. This video is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Click the show more button below this video to get access to a free domain and $1 a month hosting from GoDaddy. Great, so now you've purchased your hosting, you've purchased your domain, and you've opened up the email uh, associated with your account. So just go and log into your email and find that those emails that uh, from GoDaddy uh, with your login information. So you should have an email with this type of address, cpanel support at godaddy.com or similar. And this will have your login information. You'll get, you'll probably get a receipt and a email from cPanel support. If you don't, just check all the ones that you got from GoDaddy, and one of them will have your login information. Just make sure the uh, the address says GoDaddy.com, and one of them will have this information. So here we go. Um, it says your hosting is ready to go. It's time to get started building your site. Sign into cPanel. We've got uh, our customer ID here, my username, the domain name servers, uh, which is information that uh, is very technical that you don't need right now. But uh, as long as uh, you have your domain here, verify that that's correct. And the password is the one that you created when you purchased your uh, domain and hosting. So hopefully you've written that down. And now all there is to do is sign into cPanel. So click this link right in the email. That's going to open up a new tab and fill in your uh, information here. Click login. And now you're going to be logged into the main domain of your hosting. Now my, mine happens to be katingo.ca. And you have two choices here, manage or settings. Let me just show you the settings tab what's in here just wait for it to load so here my main domain is katingo.ca and I have I actually got the second hosting plan that lets you have unlimited domains on a single account so I have three active domains right now uh, so I can choose to switch the main domain of my account so if you upgrade your plan or if you choose the unlimited one and you want to switch the main domain, this is the place where you can do it. Switch your cPanel password, reset account. You don't want to press this because it, it, uh, I think it erases everything. So stay away from that one. Uh, data center. So if you're based in North America, you want to keep the North America one. That's the default one. If you're in Europe, choose Europe. That just makes your site a little faster, load a little faster for the people in those areas. So let's log out of this. And now all we have to do is hit manage and that will bring us to cPanel. Now cPanel is also known as, uh, or is part of the back end of your website. Now the back end of a website is the place where you manage things like images, text, um, anything that goes into the management of your website. The front end is what the user sees on the internet. So just get used to di distinguishing between the front end and back end. It's a terminology just to make things faster when you're talking about web design. Uh, just I just want to uh, show you uh, quickly quickly what the cPanel is all about. You're going to get used to navigating in this pane because you're you're going to see it often and um, you have a lot of choices here of things to do. You probably won't see all of them in your web designing experience because there's a lot there's a lot of things here and some of them are very advanced uh, but uh, for example here this is the file manager and this will give you the 
files that are on each domain. You can actually access all the individual files. So these are all of these files and I could click on one and uh, download it if I want. I can access uh, different domains that I have on my account. So that's just an example of what you can do with cPanel. Let's close out of this. And But for now, all that we're concerned with is web applications. So go down to the section, you got files, preferences, databases, go down to web applications. And if you're in, if you signed up with GoDaddy, this is what you're going to see. If you signed up with another hosting company, most of them use cPanel. So you'll see something very similar to this. The colors might be different, but it's essentially the same thing. If you're not using cPanel, then you probably have most web hosting companies will have a one-click WordPress install. It's pretty common these days. So web applications, hit WordPress blog. And what we want to do is go to install this application, this button right here on the upper right hand corner. Okay, this is going to bring us to the install pane. So we have our location, which domain we're going to install it on. So I have multiple domains, so I have a long list of domains here that I can install it on. But if you've just purchased your plan and you have that one domain that's included with your plan, you, you're just going to have one on this list. I'm going to ch choose the one that I created. So that is a subdomain. And a subdomain is like a domain that's piggybacking on another domain. So the, the real domain I have is www.sessionfiddler.com and I've created a subdomain uh, that uh, saves me from paying the registration for a domain to create this course. It's because I'm just creating a fictional website to show you uh, the amazing things that the customizer theme theme can do and the amazing things that you can do with that. So this is the subdomain that I created. I'm going to select that. This is the directory. Uh, it's kind of technical language, but I usually delete that. So the directory will just be, it says right here, homefitness.sessionfiddler.com and this is your WordPress version language if you're in a using a, another language uh, other than English you can select it here uh, you can always change these things later so you're not going to be stuck stuck with it so here we go and um, here's some important information here administrator username um, so you would want to write that down you can also create a new name and an administrator password that's to log into your account your email and the title you can fill that up fill that out right now title of your website so mine is called home fitness and fill out your tagline so uh, I'm gonna write um, workout nutrition nutrition mindset there we go so the rest you can you can leave on default. So once you've written down your administrator username and password, just hit install. And this will take a little moment to install. And cPanel, all it's doing now is copying all the WordPress files to the directory you mentioned. So we've got it installing right here. And it's installed. Now you have three options here. You have go, this first option is to go straight to the domain. And let's just click that and see what happens. So not much going on there because there's no theme installed. There's no, there's not really anything installed. 
second one is where we do our, our administration. And here is uh, WordPress support with all, uh, uh, discussions on different uh, facets of WordPress and problems that people encounter when they're doing their blogs or websites on WordPress. So the one you're mainly going to use is this one. You can access the website through this anyways. So you're probably always going to be clicking this one. Other things to note here that are really handy is this little wrench here is view edit details. So here we can go in and all every, all the information that we entered in the first time we can go in and manage. So things like title language and so on and so forth. And uh, we can also choose to back up have automatic backups of our site. So we'll save all. Um, other things that we can do is, well, we won't go into it now. I'll go into it in, the, in another section. So go ahead and click on this second link and you will be, will be able to access your WordPress panel. Here's a special message for anyone looking to gain an online presence by creating a website, but can't follow a clear path to get established on the web and get results. Hi, my name is Danny Boudreau, and if you want to succeed with WordPress, then you'll probably be interested in what I have to share with you in a second. Many people looking to gain an online presence suffer from the idea that you need to be tech savvy or have coding knowledge to build websites, but nothing can be further from the truth. And if you're a person who wants to create their dream personal or business website, then this is exactly what you're looking for. I'd like to introduce you to my video training course called Customizer, Learn WordPress with the Ultimate Creative Theme. In this course, I'll teach you how to create a fully functional and mobile responsive site with no details left out. I'll almost be holding you by the hand with every step forward. My course makes it simple for you to get your mobile responsive site online with no coding required. You'll be able to leverage the internet to show your product or service while staying in complete control. Work with a theme that runs 100,000 plus websites and has 96% 4.5 to 5 star reviews. You can get help with Customizer's expansive knowledge base and start building your WordPress site with a free theme that rivals any premium theme. What makes this even better? After going through this course, you'll have the confidence to create any website using the Customizer theme, which also means that you won't be stuck feeling like you're putting off getting an online presence that showcases your product or service. And best of all, you'll start seeing results with the Customizer course in less than a week, and it's absolutely free. So again, if you're a person who wants to create their dream personal or business site, understand this. You need a way to quickly get a fully functional mobile responsive site online. Your own unique website is the number one way to create instant credibility. You'll get access to all the videos of the course in a focused environment and you won't have to go combing through outdated videos on YouTube and try to piece a website together by yourself. My WordPress Customizer course holds the key to your success with WordPress. Hit the link below to sign up and get instant access to my 100% free course. Take care and see you on the inside.